So the Office for Budget Responsibility says that 60% of the national insurance hike will be passed on to working people. So you have taxed working people. You did lie in your manifesto. No, in our manifesto, we were very clear that we wouldn't increase taxes on working people. And if working people have. look at their pay slips that they get after this budget, they won't see any increase in income tax or national insurance. Um, no, to address but... specifically the point around employers' national insurance, you know, we're, we're not denying the fact that the change to employers' national insurance will have consequences. It was a very difficult decision, probably the most tough decision we took um, in the yeah. budget package um, overall, but it's essential to make sure we fix the foundations to fix the public finances because that economic stability okay. is crucial for growth. So you're just excusing it on the basis of different wording. You've said that you're not putting up income tax or VAT or national insurance on actual employees, but the OBR says that 60% of the cost will be passed on to workers and consumers via lower wages and higher prices. So can we please agree that you have indirectly ended up taxing working people? No, because the taxes on working people are not going up. Taxes on pay slips, national insurance and income Indirectly, tax are not you going are up. adversely affecting working people. Please, Mr Murray, please don't insult the audience. If the OBR is saying that 60% of these costs are being passed on to working people, working people are being indirectly, adversely affected by this budget. And Rachel Reeves herself called a national insurance employer's rate hike in 2021. She called it a jobs tax. She said it takes money out of people's pockets. So what's changed between 2021 and 2024? Well, I'll tell you what's changed since we won the election, which is that we discovered the £22 billion black hole in the public finances, which the previous government concealed from the public, uh, from the OBR, mm. from the Office of Budget Responsibility. Um, that pressure on public finances is something that we have to deal with. And we could have taken right. a decision after winning the election to sweep it under the carpet, to ignore it, yeah. to pretend it wasn't there. But we were absolutely determined to use this first budget of our new government to fix the public finances and to get stability back in the economy.